and Vikram and Pragna so will once uh, after the launch and the initial orbit has been achieved will it still take the same kind of plan last time about 45 to 50 days or yeah, it will take it because shorter it, yeah it cannot be made shorter because it depends with, depends on the day commencement day or the landing so we want the lander to land on the moon at that location the day of the moon should start so we'll get full 15 days uh, to for the work so that's how the date will be chosen and so the, if you can elaborate a little bit of some of the improvements on the lander specifically yeah, lander there are a lot of improvements basically the lander what was the deficiency last time that we were trying to overcome one is uh, the lander legs which we, which we expected that it, uh, it could have withstood a higher velocity so how much you can increase the velocity tolerance and in the availability of the structure has been addressed and we increase the landing velocity to 3 meter per second and even then it should not crash, it should not break uh, in plunk from 2 meter per second so this is one change beyond that we cannot do because it will become too massive second is the fuel content in the lander has been enhanced so as to handle more dispersions and the ability to come back so that we have more cushion to handle the mission and third is that we added a new sensor called laser doppler velocity meter which will look at the terrain of the moon and through laser source sounding you will be able to get the component of three velocity vectors so we will be able to add this velocity in addition to the other instruments available so we have redundancy of measurement we have improved the software to have more tolerance to failures of uh, like engine dispersions uh, thrust dispersion sensor failures etc uh, then uh, we removed one engine and which was at the center the fire fifth the center engine is removed because fire engine cannot fly in this vehicle because fire engine was okay with the reduced mass of the lander now the lander mass is increased by almost 200 kg so we have to fire minimum two engines to handle the landing so with a single engine we cannot land so there is no point in putting the central engine minimum two engines have to anyway necessarily fire at the last phase so that means that we need only four so that is already done so one engine goes means some weight saving we could get so that we can add additional weight then we added uh, new so extended solar panels and more more panel area to generate power and even if it case it does land with a different orientation not facing sun still it will generate power okay. then uh, what else so i think that's all uh, the changes major in the lander and in terms of the payloads the lander and the rover will more or less repeat it is payload wise they are repeating repeating, repeating. but and of course the major part is not this changes major part is testing so uh, the whole of the last two years was in testing, not of uh, these changes. The amount of test that we, that was done is much more than the one during Chandrayaan 2 time in terms of the uh, autonomous flights, uh, then uh, helicopter flights, crane mode landing simulation test, drop test, uh, then software simulation test beds which are newly made to, to evaluate the potential failures and recovery options etc. So that is a major uh, uh, task which they completed.